What is the fixed range volume profile indicator and how can you use it in your advantage? Let's get to it. So before we're going to use this indicator, we need to first find a range and look at this. I already found a pretty good range in price right here. A range is basically an area where price stayed in for a while. So basically a consolidation of price. So right here, you'll see that this is a pretty good range with this being the range high and this being the range low. So once the indicator is selected, you need to go from the first candle of the range to the last candle of the range, which is about here. So now the indicator will appear on your screen. My indicator would maybe look a little bit different than yours, but you can just copy my settings real quick. So just screenshot this and use my settings to better follow along with this video. So what do we see here? Well, basically all these bars on the left of the indicator are displaying the volume within this range. So the bigger the bar, the bigger the volume at that area. High volume basically means that there are a lot, a lot of orders coming into the market. And you may be thinking, what is this line right here? Well, this is basically the area where the most amount of volume or the most amount of orders are coming into the market. This is called the point of control. And so basically we use this as a very strong level of support and resistance. You see it very good here. Look at this. This is a level of support because when it touches this line, it goes a little bit below it, but then it pumps back up. Also here, this big wick basically uses this level as a level of support. Also here, when price goes and breaks down this line, it comes back up and it uses this as a level of resistance. When we go a little bit further, we see that price breaks through the point of control line and then comes back, uses this as a level of support before going back up again. So we can use this point of control line basically as a level of support or resistance. But this is not the only level of support or resistance that we can use with this indicator. We can also use something that is called the value area high, which is this right here and the value area low, which is this. So this is basically where um, the big volume is coming in. You see right here, there is some dark bars, but here it switches from dark to gray bars. So this is basically the area of interest. Here starts the most amount of volume. So again, this is the value area high. And then this right here is the value area low. So now we have three levels of support and resistance. We can use this, this and this with the point of control being the strongest level of support or resistance. Now, if we take a look and see if price respects the value area high and the value area low, we can see that if I take my brush tool, this acting as a level of resistance, once price comes to the value area high, it just goes a little bit above and then drastically goes down again. Here, again, level of resistance here, this is just sweeping some liquidity here again, here again, here again. And here is a very good example. Look at this. It basically just touches it and then goes back down again. Here it bounces back on the point of control before skyrocketing again to the upside. Okay, so a little summary. These bars are displaying the volume within this range with the bigger the bar, the more volume there's coming in that area. And where the bars change color from black to gray, we call this the value area high. And where the bars change from gray to black, we call this the value area low. This right here is the point of control line because this is the biggest spike. This is the biggest bar of all of them. There's actually one last thing I want to show you that we can also use as levels of support and resistance and that are volume gaps. Gaps basically means that there's not a lot of volume in the area and that the spikes above and below are way bigger. So as you can see right here, this is called a volume gap. Why? 
because this candle right here is way bigger and this candle right here is way bigger as well so what we can do is use these levels on top the bar on top of the volume gap and the bar below the volume gap we can also use this as levels of support and resistance but of course they won't work as great as the point of control or the value area high and low does but they will also work out pretty well so let's see what price does with the volume gaps here this wick uses this gap as a level of support right here also beautifully touches this level and goes back up again here and touch again so yeah as you can see all really good levels of support and resistance okay so before you go please don't use this indicator alone without any other confluences don't just go in a trade because price reaches the point of control or an important level of resistance that i just showed you no just use this as an extra level of confirmation don't just solely trade based on this indicator and also remember the higher the time frame the better it will work and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something if you did please consider to subscribe and hit the bell for more educational videos i will be dropping a lot a lot of videos in february so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video